What's up YouTube, today we're using DaVinci Resolve 16 to show you how to remove items from your video. Now this technique is really useful simply because it can be used in many different applications in video editing. So I hope you follow along and as always please hit that subscribe button, I really do appreciate it. It's nice to see all the new people that are subscribing to the channel. So let's get started with the tutorial. Let's say a customer wanted to use this particular footage, however they don't like the tattoo because it doesn't fit their brand, we can remove the tattoo in DaVinci Resolve. So all I'm going to do is go into the Fusion tab, I've got one clip in my timeline of the model, and then I can go and click on the media in two. I can then press Shift plus Spacebar on my keyboard and type in Planet Tracker. What we're going to do now is actually track the tattoo on this particular model. So with the planner tracker selected, all we need to do is go onto the right hand side and press set to set our reference frame and make sure our timeline is on the zero point. On the left hand side, make sure your timeline is zero. Now I'm just going to use the pen tool to draw a box around the tattoo and this will help us track this item. Make sure you close all your tracking points right at the end by connecting the last to the first. Now what we can do is change the tracker to point and the motion type to perspective because she is moving a little bit in this video. Then click track to end on the bottom right. DaVinci Resolve will track the video and give you a whole bunch of white tracking markers. We have a quite a good track on this video. Now what you need to do is click the planet track and make sure you change the operation mode to steady. Now if you play this back you'll notice the entire image becomes warped because it's trying to maintain that tracked image in the middle and keeping it steady so we can paint over it. And since now we are happy with this particular step we can go on and click our planet tracker, press shift spacebar and add a paint node. This will add a new node in between the planet tracker and the media out. We need to choose the fourth brush from the left which is the stroke brush. And then with your inspector open on the right hand side, make sure you click the second item which is the clone brush. You'll see above there's also a brush control section with a drop down where there's a size where you can actually change the size of your brush as well as the softness. I'm going to change the softness to around 1.1 to make it blend in slightly better. Then I'm going to click alt left click with my mouse. So alt left click samples the particular piece of skin and left click will just use that sample to paint over the tattoo. And I'm going to do this from the top and the bottom. This helps us get the closest skin tone to the tattoo and accounts for shadows you might have like under the collarbone there. You can see I'm just clicking Alt to get a sample and then I'm brushing over using that sample as the reference. I have sped this up just for the video so I can show you the next steps coming up. But if you do take your time in this you eventually will get quite a nice result. I am trying to recreate that shadow that you see on her arm so it looks more like the original image so that's pretty easy just choose the dark parts and try and recreate that line and get rid of some of the lighter areas until it looks as natural as you can get it. Remember to change the softness on your inspector window it just helps blend things in a little bit better and I'm trying to match that shadow which is easy enough just using the darker portions under a collarbone and using that softness brush and I'm pretty happy with that overall look just for a quick and dirty tutorial. So what we notice now is there's still that warping. What we can do is click the original planet tracker, press Ctrl C on our keyboard, choose the paint node and press Ctrl V. So now we have the planet tracker. Now what we need to do is go invert steady transform. If you remember earlier, we used the planet tracker to track the tattoo and create a steady place that we could paint over. We're basically just inverting that back by copying that planet tracker. The only thing you should see that's warping now are the edges. The new skin is correctly composed on top of the model. We can actually fix these edges by using a matte control. So press shift spacebar and type in matte control. We can use the matte control to mask out the portion of the skin that we changed and overlay that on the old original video. So adding a polygon in, all we need to do is right click that polygon, drop it over the middle of the matte control and choose garbage matte. Now what we can do is draw a portion across the skin and this is the part of the skin that we removed the tattoo from which will be used to composite on top of the original image and cover everything up. So the next step we need to do is invert that matte control. You just have to click on the matte control, go to the garbage mat and click invert and you won't see anything happen now because I don't have it in my viewer. Let's click the matte control and press 2 on our keyboard. So here's the skin without the tattoo and we need to just layer that on top of the original video. So we can use a merge node to take the media in one with the tattoo and merge it to the matte control with the skin without the tattoo. To do this we drag the output from the matte into the green portion which is the foreground 
and then we can connect the output to the final media in out and then the last step is just to connect the output from the original image to the background yellow node. There's one further issue that you'll see if you play this image forward which is that the image doesn't stick on the model and we can fix this really easily by going to our original planet tracker and setting the track type back to track temporarily by clicking create planet transform DaVinci Resolve creates a new node with all our tracking data of the original tattoo which we can use by simply embedding it in between our polygon and the matte control which will move it around. And now you'll see if I refresh the frame it still looks strange and this is because our original planner tracker that we copied needs to be set back to steady which is the whole workflow of this thing right. It takes it, it steadies the image and it paints it over it and adds it to the matte control which gets composite back onto the original image. We can also blend in this polygon just by going to soft edges on the top right of the inspector and you'll see the tattoo will become revealed a little bit but we'll just soften it slightly down and there's your original image and this is what it looks like before. So let's remove it off. If you went slower with your masking and painted it out much slower, you'd have a much better result. But I don't even think most people would know there was a tattoo there. So hopefully you hit that subscribe button and see you again next time.